Sarach, Ecclesiasticus 36. Have mercy upon us, O Yahuwah Elohim of all, and behold us, and send your fear upon all the nations that seek not after you. Lift up your hands against the strange nations, and let them see your power. As you were sanctified in us before them, so be magnified among them before us, and let them know you as we have known you, that there is no Elohim but only you, O Elohim. Show new signs and make other strange wonders. Glorify your hand and your right arm, that they may set forth your wondrous works. Raise up indignation and pour out wrath. Take away the adversary and destroy the enemy. Make the time short. Remember the covenant and let them declare your wonderful works. Let him that escapes be consumed by the rage of the fire and let them perish that oppress the people. Smite in sunder the heads of the rulers of the heathen that say, there is none other but we. Gather all the tribes of Yaakov together and inherit them as from the beginning. O Yahuwah, have mercy upon the people that is called by your name and upon Yahshara'el, whom you have named your firstborn. O be merciful unto Yahushalayim, your holy city, the place of your rest. Fill Sion with your unspeakable oracles and your people with your glory. Give testimony unto those that you have possessed from the beginning and raise up prophets that have been in your name. Reward them that wait for you and let your prophets be found faithful. O Yahuwah, Hear the prayer of your servants, according to the blessing of Ahran over your people, that all they which dwell upon the earth may know that you are Yahuwah, the eternal Elohim. The belly devours all meats, yet is one meat better than another, as the palate tastes diverse kinds of venison, so does a heart of understanding, false speeches. A froward heart causes heaviness, but a man of experience will recompense him. A woman will receive every man, yet is one daughter better than another. The beauty of a woman cheers the countenance, and a man loves nothing better. If there be kindness, meekness, and comfort in her tongue, then is not her man like other men. He that gets a woman begins a possession, a help like unto himself, and a pillar of rest. Where no hedge is, there the possession is spoiled. And he that has no woman will wander up and down mourning. Who will trust a thief well appointed that skips from city to city? So who will believe a man that has no house and lodges wheresoever the night takes him?